Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 6, Transaction Management Part 6. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe that log, that log prevention, detection and timeout concept and describe the granularity data items and its hierarchy. In our example here, we have transaction 17 and 18. Transaction 17 log data item X and did some operation on it. At almost the same time, transaction 18 started the transaction and log data item Y and did some operation on it too. Then, transaction 17 requested to log data item Y, but it has to wait since Y is logged by transaction 18. At almost the same time too, transaction 18 requested data item X, but it has to wait since it is logged by transaction 17. Both transactions now have to wait endlessly for the data item to be released. This is what we call as deadlock. The only way to break the deadlock is to abort one or more of the transactions. This deadlock should be transparent to user so DBMS should restart the transactions. There are three ways of handling that log. The first one is by using timeout. The second one is that log prevention. And the third one is that log detection and recovery. Let's take a look at timeout. In timeout method, user is given specific amount of time to finish the transaction. For example here, Ali is given 5 minutes to settle his transaction in the system. But after 5 minutes, Ali is not able to finish all his transaction of that data item. Hence, DBMS assumes transaction may be deadlocked even though it may not be and it aborts and automatically restarts the transaction. In deadlock prevention, DBMS looks ahead to see if transaction would cause deadlock and never allows deadlock to occur. It could order transactions using transaction timestamps. There are two methods. The first one is wait die. Only an older transaction can wait for younger one. Otherwise, transaction is aborted and restarted with same timestamp. The second one is wound wait. Only a younger transaction can wait for an older one. If older transaction requests log help by younger one, younger one is aborted, means wounded. For deadlock detection and recovery, DBMS allows deadlock to occur but recognizes it and breaks it. Usually handled by construction of wait for graph showing transaction dependencies. The deadlock exists if and only if wait for graph contains cycle. This wait for graph is created at regular intervals. In recovering from deadlock detection, there are several issues to be addressed. The first one is choice of deadlock victim. This is very crucial because all of the transactions are important to the system. The second one is how far to roll the transaction back. And the third one is to avoid starvation or what we can say waiting for too long in the transaction. Let's take a look at granularity of data item. Granularity means size of data items chosen as unit of protection by concurrency control protocol. When not is locked, all its descendants are also locked. For example, if we lock the whole database, the file, pages, records and fields of that particular database also will be locked. It is advisable to lock only the data that we want to change. I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.